What's up drum heads? And welcome to What to Practice, where basically I show you what I'm practicing. So the other day I was on YouTube browsing random drum videos like I always do. And I come across these videos posted by Zildjian and it's an artist in residence with Nate Smith. So about eight and a half minutes into the video, Nate's doing a drum solo and he's just chilling, doing like a halftime shuffle. And then he goes into this weird freaking thing. And I'm just sitting there watching and I'm like, what the f just happened? It made me want to quit drums and cut my hand off. Now, we can try and play this groove like Nate did all we want, but there's three reasons why it's not gonna sound like Nate Smith. One, you don't have Nate Smith's left hand. Two, you don't have Nate Smith's right hand. And three, you're not Nate Smith. Or maybe you are. But all that aside, we're gonna give it our best shot. So, I'm gonna set up the kits and try and figure this bad boy out. That's the point of the series, is basically to show you guys what I'm practicing and maybe I can share some of the roadblocks that I come across in the process of learning these things. Two hours later. All right, so let's break this down. So for the whole groove, your right hand's always gonna be on the hi-hats and your left hand is always gonna be on the snare. There's no weird switching or anything like that. In total, there's 16 notes within the groove. So we're gonna think of it as a 16th note groove in halftime. So that snare backbeat is gonna be on the three. So we're gonna chop it up into two chunks. So we'll take the first eight notes and then the second eight notes. So the first eight notes are basically gonna be an inverted double. It's gonna start with the right hand, it's gonna go right, left, left, right, right, left, left. That's gonna give us the first seven notes, and then for the eighth note on the uh of two, we're gonna smack that hi-hat foot. Right before the three. So, without the kick, let's just try this, try using our hands and then getting that hi-hat foot on the uh. Right, so the next thing I want to mention is when you do that double on the uh and the two, uh, you're going to ghost the first note and accent the second note. That kind of keeps that shuffle vibe going. Um, and it's also going to help with speed. You obviously can't accent all those notes when you get up to speed. You can't be like... Do a little ghost note. And then accent. Okay, let's just add the kick on the one. Boom, that's easy. So now let's check out the second half of this groove, okay? So these eight notes are the more difficult set of eight notes because there's a triple in there. Now those three rights in a row are what make this freaking difficult because when you get up to speed, usually doing three notes in a row is pretty intense. But it's Nate Smith and he can do like 15, 30 second notes at 220 BPM with one hand. I don't get it. So the thinking for this group of eight notes is going to be flam, right, left, right, 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 kick. Flam, right, left, right, 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 kick. Okay, so let's just piece those two sections together and see how the full groove sounds. So 
So I clocked Nate doing this groove at 74 beats per minute. It's 30 second notes, so 16 notes, 148 beats per minute. So let's kind of work our way up and uh, see how far we can push it. I think it's gonna be quite difficult because those three notes in a row are not gonna be easy. So I'm gonna slowly push the speed um, and see if I can get to 74 beats per minute or 148 beats per minute, however you wanna think of it. Screw you, Nate Smith. Screw you. So this groove is pretty difficult to play at high tempos, mainly because of those three notes in a row. So I've been trying to think of ways to make it a bit easier um, using both hands. So we can kind of cheat, and instead of playing the 4 E in all with our right hand, I came up with three different ways that we could play. You can go right, left, right, 4 E and, do a little swipe with the left hand, Or we can go right, right, left. Kind of sweep up with the left hand again, but hit that accent. Makes it way easier at the faster tempos. So we can cheat. We don't have to play it like Nate Smith. And the third way, which is the hardest way, but maybe the coolest way, is for the first note of that group of three, so on the four, we smack that hi-hat foot and follow it with two right hands. So you get that kind of dealio. I don't know if I could do it. I'm gonna try. Kind of, almost. It's a little sketchy, a little, little wobbly there. Let's try faster. Now, I feel like my foot accuracy isn't good enough to be able to, to pull that one off. So yeah, just trying to explore ways to make it easier for myself, but make it sound the same, you know what I mean? Same, same, but different. But still same! Ha ha ha! So I guess alone, there's basically not much to this groove. But the thing that makes this so difficult is when Nate plays it, he switches from a halftime shuffle into this groove. Seamlessly. It's almost as if he just had the idea in his head at that moment and was like, okay, let's go for it. And you can kind of see him like try it out once and then by the second bar, he's got it dialed. Because you know that he didn't sit there and like practice his groove at home, or I don't think he did. I'm pretty sure he just like came up with it on the fly on the stage, like, oh, this sounds cool, I think I'm gonna do this. Like, who freaking just the level of musicality with this guy? <sighs> so, basically, what I've been practicing is going back and forth, kind of from a halftime shuffle into that 16 note groove, and just kind of getting comfortable with how that feels. <laughs> Trying to make it as seamless as possible. That's something that I've always had trouble with is going from straight to swung or like straight to triplets and making it feel natural and not so boxy or jumpy, you know? And it's very hard to disguise that and make it seem like nothing happened. Like something happened, but you don't know what happened. And I guess that just comes with time. I don't know. I'm not sure. But anyways, that's it. That's the Nate Smith groove. I saw it on YouTube. I was like, that's dope. I'm gonna learn that. Figured I would share with the world of YouTube.
So, thanks for watching, guys. Also, have to put a shameless plug. BrandonScottDrums.com is live. Go check it out. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Thanks for tuning in to the second episode of What to Practice. Now go practice. <laughs>